my name is Randy Becker and I'm with Keysight Technologies. Today I'd like to give you a quick overview of our 5G multi-channel uh, test bed. So I'll start over here with our vector signal generator. This is the VXG, our newest uh, vector microwave signal generator. It has two channels. Both channels go to 44 gigahertz, perfect for the new uh, 5G uh, bands. Both channels can have two gigahertz of bandwidth. Both channels have high power to overcome the uh, OTA losses and they have very low phase noise for the close uh, new radio uh, subcarrier spacing. And as a bonus, they can also be uh, phase coherent for doing uh, work with uh, phased array chipsets and other types of applications. In this demo, we're generating a 5G new radio signal at 28 gigahertz using two-layer spatial multiplexing. So both of these outputs are connected to the probe antennas, which are oriented at a vertical and horizontal polarization. They are illuminating our device under test over here, which is an 8x8 eight eight cross-polarized phased array antenna uh, designed by UCSD. The output of the antenna is not down converted. So the output is also at 28 gigahertz. After we've phased and gain weighted all of the elements to form the beam in the desired direction. The output of this then is fed into our newest uh, oscilloscope, the UXR. And uh, normally you might think of this as a fantastic uh, time domain machine, but because this has a sample rate of 256 giga samples per second, coupled with the 10 bits of vertical resolution, give us near spectrum analyzer-like dynamic range for in-channel measurements. This also gives us uh, 110 gigahertz of instantaneous bandwidth, so we can digitize the whole spectrum from 0 to 100, 110 gigahertz on all channels, every acquisition, all the time, no compromises. So we take uh, the digitized samples and we can do a number of interesting uh, analysis uh, using our 89600 VSA software, which I have running over here in the middle screen. This is running right on the, the scope, but I have a, a, a different uh, monitor plugged in. So on the monitor, you see a number of interesting results. We have the spectrum, CCDF curve, detected allocations. You see the two uh, constellations for each of the different layers. So in fact, you see that they're different and also having a wide range of modulation from BPSK through 256 QAM. The trace in the middle is very interesting, and I'll just highlight that quickly, which is our 3D view of the distribution of uh, uh, the power across time and frequency. So I'll make this trace a little bit bigger so you can see it clearly. And uh, you'll notice that I'm able to see uh, frequency, time, and the z-axis would be uh, power. But I can zoom in and look at an individual subcarrier or symbol and quickly get a, an idea if my signal has uh, trouble or not. And uh, when I orient it in this view, you can quickly see that, ah, my 256 QAM user is transmitted with more power than the middle uh, subcarriers, which are the broadcast and sync channels. And then I have a 16 QAM user over there, which you can easily identify because of the three different uh, power levels associated with that. In summary, Keysight's 5G testbed is here to help you unlock your next measurement insight. If you have any more questions, feel free to visit our website at keysight.com. Thanks for watching.